All right, back for some more Dokkan Battle. And today, we're gonna finish up the second half of this Universe 6 Saga in Dragon Ball Super in Dokkan Battle. Wow, I can't talk today, whatever. I feel like I said every video now. Jeez, I can't talk. Jeez, I'm fucking up. All right, let's bring Brawly, why not? Fuck yeah, Brawly. Brawly obviously is the worst of all the god leaders, including Vegito Blue. Like, I, I guess you could say that there's... Ooh, actually, there's probably nine god leaders now. Because I feel like Merge Zamasu and, uh, you know, Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks might kind of count. I should go on the uh, Dokkan Battle Reddit, Reddit and look for sure to see. But I guess you probably could say there's nine. Because uh, you can really get away, especially with using... Uh, Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks as one of your leaders. But Brawly, even if those two are added, is definitely the worst. Uh, Alright, let's see. Oh, look at that. Wow. There's a lot of good shit on the map here that we will gladly take. Anytime I see one of these, gotta grab that. Because that could be a Senzu, a Ghost, you know. I had to use a lot of Ghosts while uh, farming up those Buhan medals. Because, of course... You know, I didn't really... If I had the Agility Ultimate Gohan, I would have been set, but didn't have him. So I wasn't able to really uh, neutralize Buhan's healing factor. To me, it worked a lot smoother if I just used uh, Ghost to skip the uh, Boo Piccolo turns where he was healing. Rather than toss on, like, uh, I could have put the, like, the Tech Ultimate Gohan, which we have in the party right now. Or I could have used the uh, base form intelligence Vegito, which we have. But that Vegito, he's not really great. I mean, at Super Attack 1 like he is, he doesn't really hit hard. I mean, he does power up the rest of the party, though, which is useful. Alright, so we'll do that. And we'll do this. Uh, if Ultimate Gohan doesn't finish him off, we'll get to see uh, Viku's ultimate attack as well. Viku is interesting. I feel like he's uh, definitely an interesting free-to-play unit. Because what he does is, there is, uh, I it says high chance, which I believe is a 50% chance uh, to reduce damage by 50%. Similar to that Piccolo we used against Kaioken Blue Goku, or the Android 16 that you use against, uh, like, you know, Tech LR Goku and shit like that. Uh, so, of course, you know, if you're free to play, he could be an interesting blocking type against, you know, if you're running, like, uh, Omega Shenron. I, well, no, 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 no. I said that wrong. If you're, you know, I guess if you're fighting, like, Buhan. Because, obviously, you're not going to be doing too good against uh, Omega Shenron. All right, yeah. So, Automageddon. Already, I'm looking at this. He's not taking uh, good damage here. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to have Brawly-sama come in. Uh, Brawly should be able to do some damage to him. If not, we'll just have uh, Vegito clean up the day. Uh, so I will gather up some blue orbs together uh, in preparation for Vegito. Uh, Vegito will take this fucker out, no problem. All right, so trash will always be trash. Booyah, bitch. Wow, that is so little. Yeah, we're going to have to have Vegito clean this motherfucker away. That's fine. At least I was able to, we're able to see uh, Brawly get that double super attack off. Yeah, Brawly is the only god leader that does uh, not supreme or not uh, immense damage. Brawly does supreme, uh, and obviously that uh, hampers him quite a bit. Okay, so next turn we will have Vegito fuck this dude up. The Spirit Sword will absolutely trash him. Kablamo! I do like that Ultimate Gohan. He he's pretty useful. Uh, especially with the kind of mini uh, tech god team that I can create. Yeah, we're going to do this. Ooh, no, no, no. We're doing this. Yeah. So, bam. Bam. And then, uh, let's see. That's, yeah. Bam. All right. So, that's it for Megeta. I guess unless he uses his uh, volcano attack, maybe Vegito doesn't one-shot him. We'll see. Mm. Bye, bruh. Ooh, gold training items. I'll gladly accept that. And we're done here. 
Uh, I feel like the fight between Automageddon and Vegeta is surprising because it, it, you know, it lasts longer than you'd expect. Hey, Trunks, you should be growing up by now, but you're not. Fuck. Uh, you know, you you would think that Vegeta would probably just trash this robot man instantly. But, you know, it is a fight that goes on for uh, quite a little while. Two episodes, actually. Wow, we got three Senzu Beans from that. That's pretty good. And a Baba. The only problem is that motherfucking, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, 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 I'm losing my words. No! Damn it. Whatever, let's just jump right back in. All right, so here's Kabe. Oh, yeah, it's... No, the Senzu Beans, you get a lot of those when grinding up the future Gohan medals, which I needed when uh, I Dokkan awakened our future Gohan. That's why uh, she's getting Senzu. It's like, okay. And you can also buy three Senzu a day in the Baba Shop. All right, so here's uh, definitely... Probably the highlight of the Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament. Uh, either the Vegeta Kabe fight or the Goku vs. Hit fight. I feel like most people probably would say Goku vs. Hit. I mean, Kaioken Blue was like such an awesome moment. But, you know, Vegeta teaching Kabe, I guess, what it means to be a Saiyan is really cool. Uh, I know a lot of people are actually dying for, you know, Kabe and Planet Salad to be, you know, introduced into Dragon Ball Super so we can explore them. I'm okay with that, but I don't know. I feel like if they're going to bring Saiyans back at this point, I, I want to see Saiyans as villains. Like, I always think Brawly is like a shit character, just like his personality, his goals, his motivations, all that shit. Brawly is not great. But, you know, the, the thing that's awesome about Brawly is he's a fucking Saiyan. Uh, a bad Super Saiyan is a cool idea. And, like, they just they just can't do it. They can't give us satisfying bad Super Saiyans. Like, look at fucking um, Goku Black. Like, Goku Black, they don't even fucking beat Goku Black. That's what's so annoying about it. It's like, damn, man, if you're gonna do this whole thing... Wow, there's Kabe of the Super Attack that we're not gonna see. At least let them beat Goku Black. Like, the whole Merge Zamasu thing, ugh. It just should have been way cooler than it ended up being. What a shame. Alright, so we're done with that. Alright, so let's get serious now. So it's like, alright, let's go Super Saiyans. And Gabe's like, well, I don't know how. And Vegeta's like, NANI! It's like, well, yeah, Vegeta. Like, pretty much, like, no Saiyans are able to do this until Goku did. Then all of a sudden, everyone can do it. Like, that's, that's how it works. Even retroactively. Now Bardock can go Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Bardock, Super Saiyan 9 incoming. I jest, but there probably is going to be a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Dokkan Festival. Probably soon. It could be the two-year anniversary in Japan. Yeah, here Vegeta is threatening to destroy Planet Salad. Kill everyone that Kabe loves. And, of course, this is going to awaken, you know, Kabe Saiyan rage and pride and will enable him to do this and go Super Saiyan. Hey, Kabe! Alright, look at this boy. He's got two attacks this time. Well, guess what? Vegito clearing the day like usual. Well, bam. And uh, Saiyan Man Sama can do that. Gallic Cannon. Hey, well, there's Cabe's Super Attack. <laughs> bitch, bitch, and... Bitch, bye. Oh, look at Cabe. Well, yeah, it makes sense that he didn't get taken down in one shot by Vegito, considering he is a tech type. Um, let's see. We'll do that. But yeah. And, uh, Vegito will be able to finish off our boy Cabe. Whabam. I think I might just use our main team uh, for the last two stages. It's not like it's hard, but whatever. Let's, you know, let's... Ooh, you know, I should put Gogeta back on the team, actually. I haven't really been using Gogeta a lot lately because, you know, it's not like I don't have Omega Shenron to run a mono strength team, obviously. And if I'm going to use either Gogeta or Gotenks... I mean, Gogeta hits harder than any other unit I have but Vegito, but 
I feel like the ceiling aspect of Gotenks is more important. So I usually go with that because I don't want to run both Gotenks and Gogeta on my mono agility. I guess I could. And I could just keep, you know, Gogeta paired with one Vegito and Gotenks paired with the other. And then just have like a uh, Whis and the Super Saiyan 2 Goku and maybe like Goten just rotating. No, I'd probably use the God Goku. You know what? I might actually try that. I'll try that, especially when I'm fighting uh, the next boss is going to be Tech Golden Frieza. That probably would be a good idea, considering uh, Tech Golden Frieza is, uh, well, I, yeah, he's Tech, so. All right, so now Vegeta has himself a student. Don't try and be as strong as me, bitch. Surpass me. Duh. Of course that's what you have to try and do. All right, so we're done with that. Now we move on to stage seven. Uh, let's see. How's about we go with Vegito? All right, so we'll go over to our main team. Uh, let's take off Goten. Yeah, we'll take off Goten and we'll put in Gogeta. And I almost want to get rid of Whis and put in God Goku. Uh, wait, what are God Goku's links again? Hold on. Uh, shocking speed over in a flash. Yeah, he'll be more useful than um, Whis because over in a flash, that will link up incredibly well with um, our boy Gogeta. Unfortunately, Gotenks doesn't have over in a flash, which is... Like, it, it's really shitty. That, that does hamper his card now. Back in, you know, when the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks event happened, I guess they didn't want to Dokkan the physical Gotenks because they thought he'd get too good. But now he's not really as useful anymore, so he kind of does need a Dokkan Awakening. Uh, and then, you know, you could give him fucking over in a flash and fierce battle, and all of a sudden, boom, he's a lot stronger. All right, so now, yeah, the whole Universe 6, their team is just a bunch of fucking clowns, except for Hit. Hit is a fucking monster. Here's the other thing, too. In the Universal Survival arc, if it if they bust out some crazy, incredible fighter out of Universe 6, it's going to be like, well, what the fuck? Why didn't they use him in, you know, the the Universe 6 vs. 7 tournament? Like, that's bullshit. So, that does hamper the, you know, potential of Universe 6, I, I feel, and the Universal Survival arc. Although, who am I kidding? They definitely are going to bring out some ridiculous bullshit out of nowhere. Like, oh, here's Hit's cousin, who has, you know, Hit basically is Obito from Naruto. Now Hit is going to be fucking Madara. It's like, oh, great. Or no, Hit is Obito from Naruto. Hit's cousin is going to be not Madara, he'll be Itachi. It's like, oh, boy, oh, great. Yeah, Hit, <laughs> Hit's cousin, um, probably like, okay, so Hitman... What's another term for Hitman? Because obviously that's what they, they go with the name Hit. I don't know, like Assassin? But they just call him the Assassin Hit. I don't know what the name would be. But, you know, he'd use crows and shit and illusions. Because, I mean, clearly... Oh, Hit uses Obito's ability, man. Like, you can't tell me differently. I will right, do that. Um, Actually. No, we're going to do this. Yeah. Bam. And then you could do that. Uh, I actually think this is going to... I don't know if he's going to survive Gogeta's attack. Uh, Hit is strong. But the next... The last stage is where uh, there is kind of like a stronger version of Hit. Because, of course, this right here... This is just when Vegeta fights Hit. And it is kind of different. Oh, this could stun Gogeta right here. That'd be annoying. Uh... Okay, it didn't work. Cool. In the anime, they kind of just make it look like Vegeta gets fucking sunned by Hit. But in the manga, it's basically explicitly stated that Vegeta is worn out from using Super Saiyan Blue multiple times. And that's why he's able to be beaten by Hit. Whereas Goku can, you know, fight him head up. Which, honestly, I like the manga explanation better. But it, uh, it is kind of weird because it's like, alright, if... 
The Super Saiyan Blue form is, you know, the result of perfect key control and compressing energy, and that's what God, you know, key is. Then why the fuck does it have such a significant drawback? That doesn't make sense, because that directly counteracts Goku's ability of using the Kaioken Blue with Super Saiyan Blue. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So that's why that, like, the manga explanation doesn't really vibe with the anime. They kind of work differently in that uh, regard. Things have taken a turn for the worse, I guess. Yeah, we could trust Goku as some sort of a plan. It's like, yeah, okay, so we're just gonna do Dragon Ball GT now, and we're just gonna blindly believe Goku. But no, wait! We actually have Universe 7's strongest fighter, Monica. And Beerus is like, fuck you! It's simply a device to motivate the Saiyans. Yep, he's weaker than a worm. Damn. Such hate for my boy Monica. I mean, yeah, he's a dumb character, but he's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, he's a dumb character, but he's not that bad. <laughs> oh, shit. We get so many fucking Senzu beans from this uh, Universe 6 saga. It's nice. Look at that. Just enough stamina. How's about that? I'm definitely happy. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like this team, actually. I think this might work against Golden Frieza. It might. We'll see. I know Golden Freeze is definitely going to be tough. I've got 134,000 health. I would like it to be more than that, but what can you do? Maybe I should use some of those Elder Kai's on Gogeta. No, I can't do that because I got to. I want to use them for the LR androids. I guess I could probably... Oh, this would be a real pain in the ass, but I could. No, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to pull 20 androids. But you could build up two Super Attack 10 androids and then, you know, build up the boss medals from each event double. I think I'd rather use 10 fucking Elder Kai's if I'm going to do it that way. So, yeah, uh, the other cool thing is uh, Hit and Goku's relationship is very fun. Where Hit is uh, constantly intrigued by how, you know, Goku's acting. Like, just right there in that scene where Goku reveals his strategy and Hit is like, oh, how naive. You must be very young. And I love it, Goku's like, well, I'm actually a lot older than I look. And Hit's like, oh, I'm over a thousand years old. And Goku's like, uh, not that old, motherfucker. Uh, it is funny, though, because, yeah, Goku is a lot older than he looks. And it, Goku's age is hard to kind of, like, uh, go through. Because there is the time he spent dead, which is what? Goku has spent eight years dead. Uh, there's the year in the Saiyan Saga, and then there's obviously the seven years between the Cell and the Buu Saga. So that's eight years Goku's been dead. Plus the... How many years did Goku spend in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber? Four? Goku spent four years in the Time Chamber. Four years and one month because... Yeah, but then they also... Because it's said that he spent... Is it one month or two months in Dragon Ball as a child Goku spent in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber? But they also say that Goku and Gohan leave the Hyperbolic Time Chamber early uh, during the Cell Saga. They don't spend the full year in there. I actually, I don't think I've watched that scene in Japanese. I have to go do that. I need to see the... Yeah, this, this is a card I believe that they gave out for free a long time ago. It's only an SR. It's not great. And the art on it is awful. Like, that, that looks awful. But uh, the one good thing about that card is uh can be useful against the beerus boss fight where you need you know some of the super saiyan gods or Whis in order to do uh real damage to him all right so we'll do this uh this fight is two stages by the way um and this gives a lot of credence to what i've seen a lot of dragon ball uh dokkan youtubers talking about which is where hit really needs a dokkan awakening and there could be, like, a hit Dokkan Festival in the future. Uh, especially, they could make a new hit card with the abilities he used in that little filler arc with Goku. I think that would work quite well, actually. Uh, but here's why. So, that's the first form hit that we've seen twice. But then he does this, just like the anime, which is his ability to improve. Yeah, I've improved far beyond your expectations. It's like, what? Yeah, just randomly... He was able to stop time for 0.1 seconds. Now he can stop it for 0.5 seconds. Of course, he has nothing 
and Dio Sama. Zawaldo! Tokia Tomori! Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Dio Sama. Oh, man. Dio, you know, by the end of that fight, he is able to stop time for what, nine seconds is what he maxes out at? That's a long fucking time. So Dio, I mean, Dio could probably take down, you know, some of these Dragon Ball Z characters, considering if Goku could just get knocked out by a, a laser, you know, during the Resurrection F arc, then I'm sure if time has stopped for nearly 10 seconds, he could probably get stabbed and die by Dio. But boom, this looks so badass, man. The Kaioken Blue is just such a cool thing. Uh, this, of course, is that card that we could have pulled. It's so good. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken is really, really good. But now we're fighting this hit, who is kind of like a mini boss here. Um, I think it's probably safe to assume that hit is going to start out with his super attack. So we'll put Vegito in the second slot. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, then we'll do that. Uh, this Goku, let's not really worry about him. Let's... Okay, who's coming up next? Uh, Gotenks, Gogeta, and Vegito. Wow, okay. So we'll do that. Yep, yep. <laughs> I saw right through you, motherfucker. So now Vegito is going to be able to pound him with his counterattack. He probably won't survive this turn, honestly. Yeah, see, that god Goku does hit very hard. And whoopam. Ooh. Didn't even get a chance to counterattack your ass. Hit. <laughs> and at the end, uh, Goku decides to forfeit against Hit. Because since Hit is an assassin, his best attacks, his best techniques are killing techniques. And Goku wants to fight Hit at a true potential. So Goku forfeits the match. Then when Monica comes up to be the last fighter of Universe 7, Hit realizes what's going on. And to get even with Goku, Hit forfeits the match and thus Universe 7 wins. Yep, thereby throwing the match. Very true. And then he earns Hit's respect forever. Uh, the clash for the Super Dragon Balls have finally come to its conclusion. Uh, yeah, I love this. Hey, yeah, Hit's like, ah, I see what's going on here. Repaying his debt to Goku at the same time. Yep, the winner is Monica. Then at that point, Goku, uh, Beerus, Vegeta, and the gang, they get all seven Super Dragon Balls. And Beerus wishes for the Earth of Universe 6 to be restored and I think have a similar uh, civilization or culture to the Universe 7 Earth. So Champa basically can get all the delicious food from Universe 7 Earth in Universe 6 now. So Beerus, you know, helps his brother out because Champ is his brother. And when Whis mentions it, Beerus said, I just wanted him to owe me a favor later on. So, all right, that's how that goes. Maybe there will be some event later on where Champa will have to pay Beerus out that favor. We'll see. We shall see. Wow, we got, oh, we got a ghost. A Gre These fucking Gregory medals, like every single card uses Gregory medals. So any of those are always good to get. Uh, yeah, we got some good rewards for that. Okay, though, that is it for the Dragon Ball Super Saga. So at this point, there's actually nothing really for me to record. Because, again, I I'm saving the hero and villain events for later on down the line. Because uh, there will be a new stage, I believe. I believe added to the villain event or the hero. I'm not sure which. It gets added to either the hero or villain event. I think it's the hero event gets a new stage. And then the villain event, obviously, I want to use that when we have some interesting villains to use because my villains are so trash right now. So booty, so boring. But, like, there's nothing to record. There's no banners I want to summon on. Probably the next video, I would guess, would be the World Tournament. But um, if they implement, you know, the LR androids are coming very, very soon. The friend summon is going to change to have them. I'll do one video where we just go ham. Look at this. I have, like... It's like 350 multi-summons or something like that. We're just going to just go ham. Bam, 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 bam. Doing multi-summons, trying to get as many androids as we can. Um, and then, you know, the Golden Frieza Festival will be soon. So that means a new boss. But until one of those things drops, I will see you fuckers later. Peace!